Hello gorgeous. Welcome to the Witches Oracle. My name's Nina. Today is Tuesday, February 11th, 2020. So I'm doing two days reading. Um, so as always, I'm going to start you out explaining how I'm doing my readings, what's going on. Um, I use numerology as my base. So what I have here is a breakdown. Ooh, hitting the camera is a breakdown. Hello, sir. Always in the way. Um, today is the month of February, so the second month, the month of patience. Today's the 11th. 11 is a star seed number. 11 is individuality. This is the year 2020. I'm going to hit this camera 100 times. It's literally my nose is at the screen. So I'm like, it's right in front of me. So as I'm reading my cards, like the camera is seeing everything that I see. It's like a POV. So sorry if I keep hitting the camera. <clears throat> uh, year 2020. So two plus zero plus two plus zero is four. It's the year of perseverance. Four is perseverance. So with star seed numbers, um, uh, see, it kind of depends. Some people in this situation would add this as a one and then a one but it is an 11 it is the 11th day so technically 11 is a star seed you don't add that so you wouldn't be like one plus one it's 11 so it'd be 11 plus two so it'd be 13 14 15 16 17 so you know 17 you could say it's two four five six seven eight either way you can see it breaks down the same I know it's weird it does it comes out the same so um, this adds up to be 17 the beginning of personal growth okay one in seven is eight eight is perseverance so basing off of the number eight um, I pulled that card from the astrology deck which is Scorpio so hello Scorpios all hard on the outside soft and mushy on the inside I see you. Okay, so Scorpio, there is your symbol. Um, you are an eight. Uh, your planet is Pluto. Yes, it is a planet. Whether we acknowledge it or not, it still exists. It's still there. There's your symbol. Pluto is 22, another star seed number. So it's 22, not four. And you're a water sign, all about emotions. Two and four, patience and perseverance two and four we're in the month of february two we're in the year of four so february 2004 um two and four is six six is love so water is all about emotions love is one of those emotions so then if you take this and bring this and break this down again you would have 16 plus six correct okay so we would have that and that is 22. So you have 22. Then you also have 22. So you have 22. Now, again, 22. So you normally wouldn't add those together. But let's say you did. If you added those together, they'd be 2 plus 2 was 4, and 2 plus 2 was 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. 22 plus 22 is 44, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So it all breaks down 2, and it comes back down to 8. And you have this 22. 2 and 2 is intuition, by the way. Intuition. 2 is patience. Patience upon patience is required to access your intuition. Okay? So, um, there's our um, numerology breakdown. So, right now, this is what we're focusing on. So, we have 8, 22, 2 and 4, 6, so we're kind of looking in, in that realm. So we're going to do the um, numerology first, as I always do. We're going to bring that in. And what that does is that helps me get connected. When the numbers start to come together and match up, it's like, it's like I know that I'm, that I'm connected. It's like I know that there's... Um, what do you say? Um, something. 
I can't even think right now. I know that like I'm connected with the cards and the numbers and with this reading, it just, it kind of tunes me in. You know, like when you're, okay, this is aging myself, but in the olden days, you know, when you had a radio and you'd go boop, 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 and you'd have to scan across to find a station and then it would be kind of out of tuning. You'd have to find that fine tuning. That's kind of what this is about. This is getting that fine tuning in so that you can kind of lock into a strong a strong signal it's the easiest way to explain it okay bam right off the bat okay six i see you water pluto there's your emotions there's all your emotions love right there and then we have three and seven. Three, creativity, seven. Okay, so there's our bringing in our seven, personal growth. So um, that's karma. Seven and three is ten. Ten is karma. Time out, needing to take a time out. Next, we have four and six, bringing in our four and bringing in our six. Domestic harmony, again, 10. Wow, we have two karma cards here. That's crazy. So we have perseverance. This is your perseverance, and we have love. Perseverance and love, domestic harmony. Okay, there we go. Now, we also have a bit of a pattern happening, and let me show you what that is. Okay, if I bring this up. Oh, okay, well, that's... If you could only see, I have this happening right here. And my arm is literally right here. So I have, <laughs> I have literally like zero space in my universe. I have like literally a foot and a half of space that I'm trying to live in. And Sir wants to be in every inch of it. Ay, 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 ay. The more I push him out of the way and try to get more space, the more he wants in. <sighs> okay, now let's bring this back over here. Okay, you can kind of see here we have the pinks and purples and blues. The pinks and purples and blues. Do we see this? So we have the pinks and, well, we have the purple and the blue, let's just say. Let's not bring in things that aren't there. So um, over here in the water, you see there's a bit of the sea foam green. You've got a teeny little bit of the pink. You've got the purple happening here and the blue. So over here you have the green and the blue. Over here you have some purple and blue. Over here you have purple, pink, and blue. You have the purple here and then you have the blue here. So when we're looking at numbers, we're also looking at colors. Um, in case you haven't noticed, if you pay attention to commercials, all the commercials are color-coded. T-Mobile is pink. Sprint is yellow. Cricket is green. You know, Boost Mobile is orange. You know, everyone has a color. And it's a bright, bold color. And the reason is, is because it triggers your brain to look, to pay attention. As soon as you see that color, you see pink, you think T-Mobile. You see green, you think Cricket. You see yellow, you think Sprint. So every time you see that color, that color in your mind, somewhere in your brain, is going to download that into a file. And it puts that into a color coding thing. And it's very scientific, the way that scientists... Um, and the evil geniuses of corporations use numbers and colors. It's If you knew the science of it, it would blow your mind. Anyways, so you can see that's happening all on its own. All right, moving forward. Um, for today's reading, I'm going to be using the Lunar Nomad for my oracle. Um, it is one of my very famous not famous favorite well this famous but favorite oracle decks to use because it's like my soul deck and what deck do we feel like using today for scorpio you know what let's go with let's go with the enchanted tarot i'm just look at I'm just going to go with the color coding. I'm going to pull purple because why not? It's, you know, let's pull the purple. 
cards aren't purple, the box is, but let's go ahead and use the enchanted, the enchanted tarot. Well, the cards do have purple in them, I guess, actually. Okay, so if any of the cards that I use in my readings you're interested in, if you go and look at my videos, I've done unboxing and unveilings and reviews of all the decks that I have. I'll tell you exactly where I got them. I'll tell you exactly how much they cost or how much I paid for them because I'm cheap and I want a deal and I will work for four days to find a, a good deal on something if I have to um, because money is hard earned and I like to make it go a long way. I'd rather spend a hundred dollars um, a hundred times, you know, spend a dollar a hundred times than spend one hundred dollars one time. I know, I don't always get the best quality, but, you know. So, I'm learning that um, quality over quantity is better in most things, but in some other things where you need a lot, like in tarot cards, you need to buy a lot of decks, a lot of oracle cards and other things. Sometimes it's really worth the energy and effort to try to find a deal than just to go and pay $100 for a deck. If I can get it for, you know, 60, I, you know, then I can have 40 to buy another deck. So, uh, so we have that. Boom. Okay, this is what I call letting Jesus take the wheel, shuffling and pulling. Whatever cards stick up are the cards that I pull. It's kind of just letting spirit guide me and tell me what, what to do, what cards to pull. Man, it's giving me... So many cards, I mean, not a lot of cards. Cards are talking as much as me right now. And then I always look at the back of the deck because sometimes there's a story to be told. So I, I always just give it a little check to see where we're at. And if I need to come back and pull those, I, I will refer back to them. Now I got a lot of cards here, so there's a lot happening so let's go ahead and get into it um seven of wands so what i'm going to do is pull this sorry to the forefront because i want this to be in um in sight so we can kind of refer back to this okay so seven so that's bringing in our seven seven of wands wands is action so Seven of Wands, um, Courage, Taking Control. Courage and Taking Control. Definitely not a timeout. So I'm going to set that there. Ace of Wands, the beginning of action. The beginning of taking action. That's going over here with this courage, this taking control. The Princess of Hearts. So in this deck, there's the King, the Queen, the Knight, um, uh, the uh, and the Princess. So it's kind of like older 20s child. Father, mother, young man, young woman, you know, kind of false guardian, nurturer, um, be, you know, going to battle and then bringing forth a message. So they represent, it's like the, I call you know, like the trilogy. Um, so it's within those realms. The princess of heart bringing forth a message of love. Literally, she's got a message here of love. The magician, the magician won, okay? So we have our one and our, our 11, which is one and one, okay? The magician is the alchemical master, um, having all the tools that you need to manifest what it is in, in your life that you need at this moment. So um, sometimes with the magician, you just kind of need to stop and look and see what you have and think of what you need before 
you put everything together. Like think about like chefs are like chemists. Chefs have to have all the ingredients. They have to have it measured out in the right amounts and they kind of put it all out and have it all pre-cut and pre-measured and pre-done before they start, you know, putting it all together. So it's kind of like in a sense like that. We have the fool. So in uh, in tarot, tarot represents our journey through life from the beginning to the end. So it starts at one and ends at zero. So zero is like spirit or karma. So you go from one to nine, nine's completion, and then back to one again, followed by zero, which is 10, which is nine is completion and 10's like the karma is starting. So you're like circling back to one again. Does that make sense? The zero represents the, um, the, like the wheel, like the wheel of fortune. So it's like the karma kicking in and then it's like, what goes up must come down. It's like bringing you back to one again. Um, so a lot of people, um, like to have the fool in, in the beginning. So it's, it's also childlike, which is fine, which works as well. You know, it's like the beginning and the end and that works too. So the magician represents, I'm sorry, the fool represents, um, childlike, having faith, leap of faith. Um, but you know, don't be, you know, don't be too careless at the same time. The King of Swords. Swords represents our thoughts, our mind, our way of thinking, our mental, you know, uh, Where, where we are mentally, you know, basically, are we good? Are we not good? You know, are, what are, what's going on in our head? What are we thinking? That type of thing. So we have the king. So, um, so masculine energy, strong, dominant, in control. Okay. In control. Six of hearts. So they're bringing in our six from our water, bringing in the love, okay? The six of hearts. Um, nostalgic, second chances, sharing, remembering moments. Um, love of love. Next we have the Prince of Wands. So with the Prince of Wands, the Prince of Wands always reminds me of Sagittarian energy. Um, the Prince is, it's wants taking action. So then the Prince, like the Knight, you know, riding in on a horse. It doesn't show it on this one, but if you know the Rider Waite Smith version of the illustration, he's coming in hot. Like he's ready to battle, like coming in, not thinking, just go, just like, bah, you know, just coming in hot. So needing a little bit of a timeout think that through first before the action you know got to kind of think through it first next we have the five of pentacles with the five of pentacles we have a five which is change pentacles represents domestic okay domestic home job money family um, so we have domestic harmony over here. So you see how we have green and we have green domestic harmony. So with that five of pentacles, we have, um, we have a little bit of a hard time here. Some poverty, some loss, some, some having a, a bit of a hard time. There's a, there's a change that needs to happen there. So what was bad needs to get better. Okay. Or what was bad got better. Okay. So we have a change happening here hopefully it's not good and it's getting worse let's hope that's not the case but i mean it can be it's life things can be good and then something could happen and then you know all of a sudden you're going through a hard time who knows what you're going through scorpio um but here's what i do know whatever you're going through if you're going through a hard time you take it hard hard okay 12 the hanged man so there's our one and our two together three bringing in this three right here okay that's connecting to this three so time out the hanged man represents a sacrifice or needing to see things from a new perspective okay so um 
this is definitely coming in here with this time out for sure taking a time out you know seeing things from a new perspective there's been sacrifice there or sacrifice needs to be made in some way shape or form and when i say sacrifice it's ugh, can we just be adults here and know what i mean by sacrifice like if you need to sacrifice some time off work to deal with family issues you know you're sacrificing money earning you know if you need to not you know go to um a concert or a golf game or you know um a night out with the girls or whatever the situation is you're sacrificing some fun time for you know to deal with some family issues that's what i mean by sacrifice okay just so everyone knows it's not like go herd a chicken it's not no not that okay so next we have you'd be surprised what some people will take like you have to be careful what you say these days six of wands so there's bringing in our six there's our emotion again six of wands okay with the six of wands this is good because this is progress this is progress right here this is um victory achieved this is a good thing so with the six that's emotion and wands is action so that's good that is good so this right here see him on the horse so this is a good thing taking time out really thinking it through and then acting Woo! look how good that could turn out then you've got this ace of wands this beginning this new this new thing happening you have this seven of wands and with the seven of wands it's courage and taking control so a new beginning courage taking control you know you've got all the all this action happening right Mm hmm which interesting too you have seven and six which is 13 which is the beginning of creativity communication collaboration and also three and one is four which is perseverance and so this is the year of perseverance so this happening right now this happening this year you see that the seven and the six where i'm going with that okay and you have all this action happening here so that's that's good let's see if there's anything happening here that refers to what's going on <sighs> i feel like whatever is here If it has anything to do with this reading, this is um, in the past and not the absolute recent past. So I'm I'm going to say that it's not even worth bringing into play at this point. So I'm going to say no on, on that. Here's what I am going to say. I am going to count these cards. And then I'm going to bring in the oracle. And there's a reason I'm going to do that because I'm curious what this number is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Eleven cards. individuality 11 okay so that's interesting that that completely matched up for today and then here we have three cards one two three we have three communication collaboration and uh, creativity so that's very cool and then we have three and three which is six which is love and then we have 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 if you add all these cards together which is 17 which is eight okay tell me that's not some crazy shit tell me numerology isn't a thing it's a thing it's a thing okay for instance one really cool thing is um if you add your address together um like my address it doesn't matter because it could be a million combinations but my address equals karma which is kind of cool because karma brought me here. I was meant to be here in this particular place, in this particular house. And feng shui wise, you're supposed to wake rising to the east, 
head to the west and that's exactly how the room is perfectly set up and then your front door is to face north and my front door faces north so it's like feng shui perfectly you know and the numbers and the whole thing it's it's crazy it's crazy so if you ever wanted to know about that feng shui yeah um you rise to the east your head sets to the west your front door faces north um also with your address add the numbers together and see what they add up to and then look it up under numerology and it'll give you the meaning of that number and you'll be like oh okay it's just kind of cool just to you know interesting little bits and facts okay so well i've been getting this one a lot lately birds one and two bringing in our one and our two again birds um feeling a bit caged needing to spread your wings and fly that has a lot to do with this time out for sure um domestic harmony if you feel trapped and caged you're not going to be domestically harmonic okay you're not going to be feeling the love so that makes a lot of sense two and one is three needing that time out for that personal growth next we have oh well that's weird i got that again we have stars which is amazing like wishing upon a star so with stars we have one and six so the beginning of love so there's your one there's your six there's your love scorpio there's your love um which breaks down to seven there's our seven which is personal growth which is here three and seven so look at what we have we have three and seven time out which ones are think about what it is that you need and want in your life are you working towards that or are you do taking action to make any of that happen are you domestically harmonic uh, are you expressing love are you receiving love these are the questions scorpio you need to figure out what is happening with you right now okay because there's two things that that i can tell you in a situation there's there's two things there's you in the situation or you and another person whichever one it is okay it's either you and another person or you in a situation you have to figure out are you the jerk doing jerky things causing yourself your own problems or have you put yourself in a situation that is not working for you that only you can get yourself out of or is it another person you're dealing with and are they being the jerk and if they're being the jerk you know you can't control other people you can only control your reaction to their actions that's all you can do next we have the tree five change needing to change okay tree couple things about the tree tree could be family tree what's going on domestically okay in your home in your life in your love life in your family life what's going on the tree will per, will and should provide you with everything you need shelter food water protection um fun even um nutrients um sorry you said food i think um the other thing about a tree is if you overuse and abuse the tree, the tree will die. Um, so something has to change, Scorpio. Something has to change because you got changed twice. So whatever's going on here, either you're not feeling something or there's something going on. Something has something has to give okay something has to give here mm, yeah this was just sitting here off to the side like sticking out and it just like caught my attention whenever that happens i try to pay attention we have the tower one and nine the beginning of completion or 10 karma so this is the tower the tower has wings meaning it's about ready to transform the tower comes crashing down 
And then, you know, the thing about it is, is that, yes, if everything has to come crashing down, um, you have to rebuild it from the ground up again, but then you can build it bigger, better, stronger, and the way you want it. So not all bad things, you know, endings are not always bad things. Sometimes it's the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. Well, you lose the caterpillar, but you gain a butterfly. So not all things that we lose or that break down or that don't work out are bad. Sometimes it's the best thing because something more beautiful can take its place. Okay, so. All right. Um, that we're at the 30 minute mark. I don't even have time for charms. I went on a little too long. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, free reading, comment below. I'll give you a free reading. Uh, let me know you want one in the comments and have a great day. Bye.